Welcome to Documentary 101, How to Make a National History Day Documentary, Lights, Camera, Action. Documentaries can be made with fairly simple video technology and editing software. They are a great way to visually present your project and all the research you did. Things to consider before you start. Does your topic lend itself to a documentary? You will need a lot of visuals for a documentary film. Have you been able to gather enough visuals during your research? These should include historic photos, documents, maps, audio or video clips, interviews, and more. Can you find film or television footage for your topic? Are you comfortable interviewing people? Do you enjoy making videos or filming? Do you like working on a computer or with other tech devices? The first steps are the same as every category. Choose a topic that interests you and relates to the annual theme. For the year of this entry, the theme was Exploration, Encounter, and Exchange. Conduct your research using credible primary and secondary sources. Write the components of an NHD project. Context, main event, multiple perspectives, short and long-term outcomes, and a thesis based on historical evidence. Then you can begin to create your documentary. Be sure to check the NHD rulebook. Your documentary must follow these key rules. Be researched, written, filmed, edited, and created entirely by you. Be a maximum of 10 minutes long, including the credits. The time starts when the first visual image appears or first sound is heard, and ends when the last image appears or sound is heard. Have a list of sources and acknowledgements at the end of the documentary. These have to be readable and do not have to be your full citations in your annotated bibliography. Tips for writing a strong script? Start writing the script to your documentary. Refer to Minnesota History Day's Tootsie Roll model. It will help as a scaffold for your project. Pro tips for script writing. Place your thesis statement in the first 90 seconds of your documentary. It's best to begin with an introduction that frames your thesis. Make the thesis statement very clear and obvious to listeners. Remember to connect to the theme. Present your information chronologically. Use the before, during, and after model. Start writing your script before putting together the visuals. Your words are driving the narrative forward, not your pictures. If using a direct quote, it can be helpful to have it written out on the screen. Ne trying to narrate quickly to fit more in can be overwhelming to your audience. Leave room for dramatic pauses so audiences have time to absorb your points. Read your script out loud as you edit and refine it. Time it to be sure it is under 10 minutes. Your script is now ready. Now it's time to storyboard. Storyboarding is when filmmakers decide which visuals will be featured and in what order. You want your visuals to match what you are talking about. If you are introducing a historical figure, you could have a portrait or a photograph of that figure as a visual. The recommended average length of a shot is five seconds per image, making that 12 images per minute. Gather your visuals and audio. Images can include photographs, scans from books, newspaper headlines, video clips, interview clips, maps, drawings, art, documents, title screens, and more. Make sure your images are not blurry. When you save images to your computer, give them a name that makes them easy to find. Keep them organized in file folders. If you'd like to include an interview in your project, look for someone who experienced the event firsthand. This can be intimidating at first, but with the help of a parent or guardian or teacher, write an email to the expert or witness you would like to interview. Before the interview, write what questions you want to ask your interviewee. Capture high quality video and sound of the interview so that it is easy for viewers to see and hear when it's part of your documentary. We have a new oral history tool that goes into a lot more detail on this. It is available on our website and linked in the description below. Find appropriate music for your topic. Look for open source music that is not copyrighted. It's usually best to avoid music with lyrics if you're going to use it for background music. When you're ready to record your script, find a quiet place to record your narrative. Break up the script into smaller parts to read. 
do multiple takes to find the best one. Putting it all together, find a movie making program that works best for you. The most common ones are Windows Movie Maker and iMovie. Follow the program's tutorial guides on how to insert clips, images, sound snippets, title screens, and more. As you add in sound, make sure your narration can be heard over any music you have selected. If you are not speaking in order to highlight the music, then you may make the music louder. Add a brief credit screen. It should not have your entire bibliography, but should list the music you used, the people you interviewed, and the archives you used. Have a teacher or parent or guardian look over your work so they can give you suggestions on making your project stronger. Once your documentary is done, save it as an MP4. If you need any more resources in helping you make your documentary, visit the National History Day Utah website. That link will also be in the description below. Thank you for watching and good luck with your project.